Welcome back everyone. You may be trying to go ahead and clear out the trash on your Android phone. Now as far as I can tell, there's no like trash native option within your whole entire Android device. Typically it's trash within certain applications. So for example, if we made our way over to our photos application, you should be able to see whichever photos app you're using like gallery for example, there may be a trash option down here. If not, you can always go and click over here. You may see a little trash option here. And what you can always do is clear out the trash options within your application. So whatever apps you're using, whether it's Gallery or Google Photos, go through the trash options and you want to go ahead and clear those out. Now a way to check how much trash you have on your phone is to make your way over to your settings panel like this. You'll come to a panel that looks like this and what I would recommend doing is going down to your storage panel. So here we can make our way down over to this panel and under battery and device care we can click here and you'll be able to go down into your storage option which is right here and what we can do is we can see this little trash panel right there. Now for me I have zero bytes. If that said like 500 megabytes or something like that well then at that point you could go down here and you could see and it'll tell you how much trash you have and what you can delete for your trash. Now this is on One UI. If you're rocking stock Android it could be more or less the same exact thing. Now what you want to do here is once you're at this point, you want to monitor how much trash you have and then you want to go ahead and go back into your specific application that you were using before and you can go through and delete those specific you know, trash photos, whatever other trash apps you have and that will pretty much fix it for the most part. Now let's say you still have a bunch of trash, the next thing I'd recommend doing is going back into your settings panel like this and you want to go down and update your specific phone. Now whether, you have an, now whether you have a Samsung, a Xiaomi, Google Pixel, OnePlus, you should probably have an update available like I do. So what you can do is find your update panel like this, click on software update panel, and you want to go ahead and download and install the latest version of software that's available. Now as you can see, I do have an update available. So all you have to do here is update your specific phone, and that should end up fixing it for the most part. There can still be some issues here and there, but that is the probably the next thing I'd recommend doing. If you don't have an update available, I would recommend just factory powering down your phone and powering it back up again. That may fix it. If that still doesn't work, I would recommend backing up all your data from your phone and then doing a factory data reset and restoring all that data and that may end up fixing it for you as well. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.